here's our first example of hardware 2.5 being different than hardware 3. And here we go. Whoa! <laughs> okay, yeah, I definitely noticed that. Oh my gosh, that is a huge improvement. Hey, what's going on everybody? Sorry it's a little dark. It's currently 10.35 p.m. and we are installing 2019.36.2.1. So I figure while we wait for the update, I can just do the intro really quick. The It's crazy, the headlights like of the car keep turning on and off. Uh, so that's pretty funny. And the battery's making some crazy noises. So this update is supposed to have the better regen, stronger regen, and also one pedal driving so the car will come to a complete stop without you ever touching the brake. So we're gonna test that out. Uh, maybe a range increase. This one's kind of unknown, but it sounds like the all-wheel drive. So I'm driving the non-performance all-wheel drive. Uh, sounds like this car is gonna be going up to 322 miles, but nobody's sure if that's just new cars or not. So we'll look at the range calculation. And then traffic cones, which never thought I'd want to see traffic cones, uh, but they just started some construction by my house and I'm so conflicted right now because I'm happy that I can test this out, but I'm also really mad that the construction is going to be there because uh, that road's fine. It doesn't need construction. But anyway, um, we're going to go test all that out. So let's uh, let the update finish. It's at about 50% and it's really cold in here. I can't turn the heat on. I tried to turn the heat on from the app. It says it's on, but it doesn't work. You can't do it. Um, so once it's done, we'll check out the release notes and we'll go test all this stuff out. Okay, so here we are. It's 10.55 now. So it took about 20 minutes. Uh, let's go over these really quick. I'm not a huge fan of reading all this to you but I will slowly scroll so you can pause. As we look at these, I just wanna say thanks to Lyle, my first patron. Uh, I don't normally talk about Patreon on the channel because if you're watching this, you're already supporting me and I really appreciate that. Um, but I know some people you know, are into that, so thank you, Lyle. Um, so stopping mode, this is what people are most excited for. Now, um, your regen will stop you all the way. So with this, you can do true one pedal driving. Never have to touch the brake again. So we're gonna test this out. Also, regen is supposed to be stronger with this update. We'll see if it's mentioned later. Scheduled departure, really exciting, especially for winter. You can tell the car, all right, I wanna leave the house at 6 a.m., 8 a.m., whatever, and then the car will charge in a way that it finishes charging right before you leave. The reason this is good is your battery warms up from charging. And so in the winter, in the morning when your battery is cold, this will keep it a little warmer. It doesn't warm it all the way, of course, um, but your regen won't be super limited. Power increase, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Um, 5%, this is the second time we've had a 5% power increase. So of course I could use some type of app here to test the zero to 60. I'm sure other people will do that. I'm just gonna see if I can tell the difference. Um, I know, I'm gonna be honest, with the last 5% increase, I really couldn't tell. Um, but we'll see, maybe this time, you know, 5% more of 5% more is even more. And then you have automatic navigation where events in your calendar will trigger when you start driving, it'll just route to that destination. So I guess I'm going to have to start putting uh, addresses in my calendar, you know, more routinely. And then also, of course, if you have a normal work routine where you leave in the morning to go to work, just hopping in your car, it's going to navigate you there automatically, which honestly is going to be a huge uh, improvement to quality of life because my little routine in the morning is hop in, start driving, click this, click work, close the garage. Um, so, you know, just takes out on the, another step. It's not that big of a deal, but all of these things added together is what makes Tesla's awesome. You know what I'm noticing is not here. It's not talking about the traffic cones. So I have hardware 2.5. Um, so let's get out there and see. Maybe it's just not in the release notes, but oh man, if I don't have traffic cones just because I have hardware 2.5, that's going to be pretty disappointing. Um, but we'll see and hopefully the hardware 3 upgrade is going to start rolling out quickly here. I just realized you probably have to turn on stop mode and here it is under the driving setting you have stopping mode. Right now it's on roll. So this is the traditional uh, setting but it used to hold so that wording's a little confusing. Creep uh, we had before. Slowly move when pedals are released. Roll when pedals are released. Hold is the new mode here. Maximizes range by extending re regen braking to lower speeds and automatically blends in brakes to hold the vehicle at a stop. Um, so make sure you enable that. I'm gonna start driving, I assume. Yeah, you can't change that while the car's in drive. Okay, apologies, the road's gonna be a little loud here, but it was my first use of it and I just gotta show you. So it is so smooth. So I'm gonna start, oh, I'm in reverse, but even in reverse right here, look at that, it puts me in a hold mode. It is so smooth. So and start going. I'm letting off the accelerator. 
the car did that on its own. It is unbelievably smooth. I mean, I couldn't brake smoother than that if I tried, but it is pretty interesting. You can see here, even in reverse, I let off the accelerator, getting regen in reverse, and then boom, the car puts me in hold mode. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna go out on the road. Um, I'm gonna try the zero to 60 here. I did download an app. I tried to use Draggy, but it just kept saying connecting. Um, so we just gotta get stopped right here. <laughs> Getting used to this one pedal thing is a little weird. Um, man, it is smooth though. And here we go. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I definitely noticed that. Oh my gosh, that is a huge improvement. Wow, that was wicked. Oh my gosh, okay, so like, <laughs> oh, sorry. So that was definitely a noticeable acceleration to me. I mean, you kind of get used to the power after a while. We're at 80% state of charge, but we're gonna go out and we're gonna find some traffic cones here and I'm really gonna hope they show up on the display. I'm still using the brake. I'm not used to not using it. I have to like think of, wow, oh my gosh, the acceleration, even when you're not fully pressing the pedal is much better. Jeez, this, this is really awesome so far. Okay, so we got construction cones coming up. Uh, it wasn't in the release notes, so I don't have high hopes, but please, hardware two, be strong enough. Wow, even acceleration from, <laughs> from 60 is, is really powerful and here's our cones I mean we got barrels but uh, I'm not seeing them oh man let me get over here just to see and yeah it's not picking them up oh man so I guess the rumors were correct here's our first example of hardware 2.5 being different than hardware 3 um, and to be fair, I don't think anyone's gone by barrels yet. Um, but in some of the other examples, pretty much anything marking the lanes, like even the thin cones or normal cones were all showing up on the screen. Um, and those barrels didn't show up at all. So that's pretty disappointing. This is a good spot to do another zero to 60. Here we go. Oh my gosh, every time I step on it like that, uh, then my seatbelt gets stuck <laughs> from I don't know what, but then I have to like lean back to loosen it up again. So acceleration even, let's see, from 40, it's it's really powerful. I mean, it's there's no like measurement I can do, but it does feel more pow powerful to me. And I know that last time we got the 5% bump in the release notes, I. Honestly, I couldn't tell. I really couldn't tell. I was a little disappointed. Um, this time, I'm feeling it. I mean, I'm feeling a difference. And the difference isn't just when you floor it either. I'm feeling when the pedal is half pressed, the acceleration is more than in the last version when the pedal was half pressed. Okay, autopilot seeing those a little late, but we were coming over a hill. I mean, I didn't feel nervous at all or anything, but it just seemed like a little late. So coming up on this sign here, this yellow sign right there, I will turn autopilot off. And last time, yeah, so you can see, I could easily turn here. You'll see the comparison. Um, so I'm gonna turn, cause someone's coming up behind me. Um, but you'll see the comparison. I did it before with the old regen. So you can see what speed I was at as I crossed the street last time, but I was going faster than that. So the regen is increased. All right, this is 2019.32.12.2 before the new regen update. So we're gonna see how regen used to behave uh, so we can compare that to the new regen. So this yellow sign up here is where I usually engage. So right as my car hits it, right there, turn off autopilot, regen has started. Unfortunately, I have four dots here, uh, but the green bar didn't even make it that far, so that's all right. And we're gonna see, so we made it right past this street. Okay, so, so far, regen is improved. Acceleration is definitely improved. Uh, I'm a huge believer in that. So that is awesome. Next, we're gonna check out and see if my max range has increased, and then we'll check out the scheduled charging. Uh, but I have a baby, baby's gotta eat. So this video is sponsored by the Model 3 Part Shop. Their link's in the description. You can use the code DIRTYTESLA to get 15% off anything site-wide.
All right, so I'm currently at 209 miles. If I switch to energy, it says 70%, uh, which would extrapolate my 100% to be more like 300 miles. So my degradation that I've been seeing, I'm gonna make a video about that soon. I just passed 25,000 miles. Uh, degradation is still there. That hasn't really changed. Um, it's actually improved a little bit, but that was happening before this update. And I did not get any type of increase. So that 322 miles people have been talking about, you know, it didn't say anything in the release notes, and I'm not seeing it here on my 2018 all-wheel drive. So for scheduled charging, in your charging screen here, you have a new button right here. It says schedule. So let's check it out. Um, right now it's, wow, so they set it up already. Scheduled departure, start charging at 7 p.m. all week. So, oh, okay, so that is what it was already set to from before. So before we only had the setting to start charging at whatever. So it kept that setting from before. So you can still do that if you want, but if you want to tell it when you're going to leave, it talks about scheduling charging to complete before peak electricity rates. Now, my peak electricity rate starts at 11 a.m. Uh, there isn't one unless you have a special plan here. So this is just, at least for me, a random entry. So I'm going to tell it I depart at 745. Ooh, this is a little touchy. And you got 15 minute intervals. Wow, it's really sensitive, but it does snap to the option. Um, ooh, that was a nice little animation. Let's see that again. <laughs> okay, got kind of stuck that time. Um, so I'm going to tell it I leave at, oops, I want 745. Um, 745 on weekdays. So now it will, um, so actually it'll do this every day, but it will also precondition the cabin on weekdays only. Now, what the heck does precondition mean? It, I don't get to pick a temperature or anything, so that's pretty interesting. And then you can also just turn this off. So if it's off, the second the car's plugged in, it's just going to start charging. Um, but I'm going to leave it at depart at 745, so the battery is ready for me right when I go to leave. I am really disappointed that I don't have the traffic cones. It's not really that big of a deal, but it's just one of those cool new features, you know, that you look forward to. Um, so if anyone with Hardware 3 got this update, you'll have to let me know if it's in the release notes, because it's not in the release notes. Maybe they just didn't include it. You know, it was in that kind of test version, uh, and they decided not to put it in the wider rollout for whatever reason. Um, but for now, for sure, this update for me on Hardware 2.5, all-wheel drive 2018 Model 3, no, uh, no traffic cones for me. So overall, this is a really nice update. Um, there's not a whole lot in it, but the things in it are substantial. That one pedal driving, that is super exciting and weird, and it's going to take a lot of getting used to. Um, but I'm excited for stronger regen. It makes the car more efficient. It means you get to go farther on the same amount of charge. It makes driving even easier than it already was. Um, so not having to use the brake pedal at all. I know Stephanie's going to be really excited about that. She loves regen. That's like her favorite thing about this car. And hopefully we'll see stability improvements. In version 10, initially, my backup camera uh, was black every time I used it for like five seconds. And I only went into reverse a couple times, like I can do it right now. And instantly the backup camera comes up. No, no black screen. But that seems to happen with every update. And then it slowly kind of regresses um, and then the black screen on the backup camera comes back so hopefully that stays away and doesn't come back so overall pretty nice update let me know what you think uh, in the comments down below if you have any questions i can answer those too and i will see you in the next video